Please welcome this week's special guest, Maria. <laughs> Ronan, what is Maria to you? Uh, this is Maria. Um, she is the boys' own competition winner that 20 years ago won the duvet from my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Tough. How do you know Maria? So, uh, this is Maria. She works my new business venture, selling clip-on earrings for dogs. <laughs> and finally, David, what is your relationship with Maria? Uh, this is Maria, and she once gave me a ginger nut when I... <laughs> when I came over all queasy on a glass-bottomed boat. <laughs> <laughs> Lee's team, where will you begin? Well, we'll begin with Ronan, I think. Uh, so she won your duvet 20 years ago. What, first of all, what was the competition? What was it? Was it on a TV show? It was my 21st birthday, and it was a radio show. And on the radio show, uh, we did a competition uh, to um, give away my duvet. Was it actually your duvet or did you just buy a duvet? It was actually my duvet. So, just to be clear, do you mean the duvet or the duvet cover or both? It, it was all of it. You can't just... Oh, you mean all the horrible old manky duvet bit that's inside it? <laughs> Full of coffee stains and <laughs> others. <laughs> what did she have to do? So, it's a radio show. They're getting very good morning to you. You're going to be... Uh, yeah. Get your chance today to win Ronan Keating's duvet. I was in <laughs> Ireland. It was in Ireland. Sorry? It was in Ireland. <laughs> Sorry, Ronan, sorry. he's got a limited range. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. The only chance you've got is if Ronnie Corbett co-hosted yeah. <laughs> What did okay. she have to do? It was a competition. Um, people had to send me a birthday card. Right. And I would pick one of the birthday cards out. So tell us how it worked. Talk us um, through it. We were actually doing the show live from my house uh, oh, on my okay. birthday. And ah. ah, now it's uh, oh, nice detail. They came to the house, yeah. Right. And so we did it from there. So they yeah, wanted an the item house. from my house. So they just had to send you a birthday card, and you would choose yeah. the be the best. And how did you judge the the the, um, the picture? What was it? We put the cards in the washing machine. We put the cards what? in, the, in the washing machine. In the washing machine. So, and we we we, <laughs> we, <laughs> we <laughs> spun it around a bit, and then I put my hand in. And I took a card out, and and it was Maria's. Did you sign it, the, the duvet? I did. Was it a single or a double? It was a double. Did well, they have buttons along the top or the side? Uh, down the end. <laughs> right, you're lying. Nobody would know that. <laughs> Nobody would remember that. Everyone knows that. How else do you think they get the duvet in and out? A duvet from 20 years ago. Well, how, from whatever era, it has to have buttons on to get the duvet in and out. No, well, sometimes the buttons are down the side. You said it was on the end. You'd never uh, remember just, where it the depends on which way you turn no, it. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. Side. 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 No, no. No, Buttons mean... are never down the side. Never. Down... never. I it's think I know what's happening here. I think you've got the duvet the wrong way around. Yes. <laughs> That's your question. Do you find when you're sleeping at night that your neck and knees and toes get very cold? <laughs> Let's move on. Who would you like to question next? Let's go with Toff. Uh, Toff, you are claiming what? So, Maria basically runs the production of my new business venture, making clip-on earrings for dogs. OK. How's that going? Well... <laughs> Are you going for a particular breed or is it for any dogs? No, it's for any dogs, but we've had to be quite careful about the clasps because, obviously, dogs' ears are quite thin. Yeah. We've got ten different styles. Oh, go, go through them all quickly. So... Oh, God, do I have to do all of them? I'm not sure yeah. that that's embarrassing. Do you, wish, do you want to change it to three? <laughs> we've got two power ones. We've got, like, a small one and then a longer one. Oh, you're going you're to get through the ten like that, are you? <laughs> then we've got a medium-sized pearl, then we've got a very large pearl one. Basically, we've got ten sizes of pearl. <laughs> yeah. if, I, if I wanted to put um, an earring on my schnauzer, yep. how would I go about it? <laughs> well, the company's called Dog and Sloan. Get it? Dog and Sloan, Dog and Bone, I like that. I live in That's very house. good. <laughs> I did want... I wanted Bone Ranger, but it was already taken, which is Yes, annoying. that's the, uh, That's my different. website, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> what does Maria do for your business? And how did you recruit her? Um, I found her on... <laughs> it's called Radio HP, have you heard of it? It's like no. Gumtree for posh people. It's like what? <laughs> <laughs> Gumtree for posh people. Right. <laughs> it is. What did the advert say? They just said, B work based in Battersea, production manager. Battersea, could you think they'd be good clients, though? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> captive audience, yeah. literally. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. 
Yeah, cos that, that's what homeless dogs are looking for, priority, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Who's looking for a new home, then? Oh, no, 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 I'm looking for a new pearl drop. <laughs> of pearls, apparently. <laughs> How big is this business going to be that you're going to have people? Maria's one of four. She's one of four staff members that are working for I'm you. I'm not joking. Okay? I promise. One of four. Oh, you promise? <laughs> well, why didn't you say? <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were promising. <laughs> oh, that's a whole different ball game. Oh, well, we don't need to ask any more. We don't need to ask David. <laughs> it's tough. She's telling the truth because she's promised, doesn't she? <laughs> What about David? OK, remind us, David, of your... Uh, well, Maria uh, gave me a, a ginger nut. Oh, when yeah. I was... <laughs> when, when, I, when I came over all queasy on a, on a glass-bottomed boat. I've known you long enough, David, to know that you would not accept a ginger nut from a stranger. <laughs> Where were you in the world? Uh, I was in... Uh, I was near the island of Capri in Italy. Who were you with, David? <laughs> I was on my own. On your You're own. On your own. Yeah. You're on your own. Holiday on your own. No, I, on, on my wife and child had uh, consented to join me on a holiday. <laughs> Why were you queasy? Because of the undulation of the boat caused by the oh, action the... of the sea. Nothing to do with the glass bottom then. It wasn't because well, I think it might have been something to do with the glass bottom because one thing they tell you not to do if you're suffering from motion sickness in a boat or a car, right. they tell you don't just stare at the floor. <laughs> if you've paid to go for a ride on a glass bottom boat, <laughs> you're wasting your money if you just stare at the horizon, <laughs> which you can do from the land. The whole point of the glass bottom <laughs> boat is to look straight at the bottom of the boat, which is ironically the very action that will make you nauseous. <laughs> and so I say it's a design fault. <laughs> what was Maria doing on the boat? Uh, well, it was. Well, it's a, a glass bottom boats are for tourists, really. They're not used much in international freight. <laughs> on the boat, really, apart from the driver, was there in a capacity of, of, of a tourist. And she came prepared for the trip <laughs> with some ginger nuts? Yes. We all do. Who doesn't go sailing without ginger nuts? <laughs> well, me. Well, ginger nuts are... That's what they recommend. I did, just recently did a programme with the Navy and that's what they recommended. Ginger nuts, they swear by them for, for sick, travel sickness, for motion sickness. Do they? Absolutely. Ginger nut biscuits? They do. So she said to you, let me offer you a ginger nut. Did, did Maria say anything else? What was the exchange then? Um, she, she, well, she said, I, I can't really remember, but she said... What, you uh, just ignored her? You took the ginger nut? <laughs> <you were, laughs> Thank you, thanks very much. Oh. <laughs> is that what you did? Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, that is how my face is, so, you know. <laughs> Right, we need an answer. So, Lee's team, is Maria Ronan's bedding buddy, Toff's doggy designer, or David's seasick Samaritan? Hmm. Well, I think Toff's out. Is she? Yeah, surely, right? No one's buying doggy earrings. Well, Ooh. I think as upsetting and disgusting as it is, yeah, it's Ronan. I don't it's far more upsetting. upsetting. Ronan's. No. Don't you? As like a twelve-year-old girl, I would have loved to have won Mark yeah. Owen's it, duvet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, that would look like a flannel. Uh... <laughs> what about David? Well, you see, David, nauseous on a boat. No one was gone with him. It's all ringing true, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so let's make a decision. It's Ronan. Ronan. <laughs> We'll go for it. You're going to say it's Ronan? OK. Maria, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Maria, and I won Ronan Keating's duvet. <laughs> yes. Maria did win Ronan's duvet, and she has kept it all those years, oh, and wow. it's here. Which side does it open? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, he signed it. That's nice. Yeah. And just clarify, there was never a cover. There was never a cover. Never a cover. You cheapskate. Which is which is different to their albums, which was full of covers. <laughs> there you go. Isn't that nice? Hello, Maria. Come on, two years you? later, how are you? Nice to see you. Now that's how you treat your fans, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> and this is your most treasured possession. Yes. Well, that's and where's it been for all these years? The attic. In the attic. Really treasured. <laughs> Well, Maria, thank you very much for coming on. Thank you. Safe trip home. Thank you, Maria. Lovely, thank you for coming. Thank Maria. You very much.